Welcome back again. This is the last lesson of this uh, group of lessons which deal with view controllers and segways and passing data, so on and so forth. So in this lesson, we're going to pass some information between one view controller to the other one. Let's see how we could do that. I'm going to go into Xcode and let's close this application. I'm going to make a new application called uh, Passing Data. I never learned whether it is data or data. It, it seems like a lot of people just call it data, a lot of people call it data. So just, uh, you can go whatever you like to. So uh, for me, it is for the most part data. So here I have one view controller and this time we're gonna do things uh, an easier way. I'm gonna add another view controller and this new view controller uh, is gonna have a slightly different background color such as this one. And I have a new class for it. The new class for it is called pink view controller of the type UI view controller, of course. And now the both of the files are here, the pink ones. And now I'm gonna go into my storyboard, select this uh, view controller outlet, go to the identity and call it pink view controller. Perfect. So the next thing is this. I'm actually gonna go ahead in here and I'm gonna drag a uh, from my view controller into the pink one and say manual segue show. And my segue is called, the identifier for it is called to pink segue ID. You could call it anything, you could call it P, right? But I'd rather give it more uh, meaningful names. I did multiple undos and I removed that. So here's a chance to see it once again. So identifier to pink uh, Segway ID. All right, so I've got that. So here's what I want to happen. Here's what I want to pass essentially. I want to have a text field in here. So I have this text field. So whenever I go to this very first view controller or uh, view controller or main view controller, whenever I come in here and I enter something in this text field, I want it to be passed into the into the pink one. So Let's go ahead and have this uh, text field in here. And then I have a button. And this button obviously is gonna take us to the pink view controller. So I'm gonna modify it a little bit, give it a different background color. And it says, go to pink. And then what's happening in the pink one, I have one label that is gonna show us what we received from the other side. So the label is gonna show us whatever information we have received from the white one. So here, that's my label. Let's call it received data. That's just the text in there, it doesn't mean anything. So I'm gonna change this color maybe like that so we can see it. And of course I need a back button. So I'm gonna add a button in here, say uh, back. Okay, so that's going back and maybe its background is a different color. So now I've got everything that I need. So all I have to do is I have to add the functions and also the outlets for them. So let's go ahead to our uh, assistant editor. I'm gonna go to the view controller up here in the view controller.h. I'm gonna drag this one. I'm gonna call this one uh, data text FLD. So that's my data text field. And of course I have to have a function. This one says, go to pink action. And I remember that its type has to be action. So go to pink action. Perfect, I've got that taken care of. In here, I need to have my pink view controller.h and in it, I'm gonna get rid of everyone I know I don't need. What I do need, however, is this. One of them is, this label, I'm gonna call it actually received data label. So it's the data that we have received. Connect, and I need a function that is very simple. We have done multiple times before. And that one says, go back home action. And I remember its connection is of the type action. So that's about that. Alrighty, so now I have to go and write the codes that is gonna help me pass data. So let's go ahead to our editor and I'm gonna go to viewcontroller.m in here, get rid of everyone I don't need. 
And the only thing I need to do is here in the go to pink action, I'm gonna get an NS string. Let's call it to send a string. It's going to be uh, my text field, whatever I called it, text FLD. It was called data text FLD dot text. So I'm first gonna get the data that my user has entered. And then I'm gonna have to say self perform segue with identifier segue with identifier and then the identifier that I want to use is so the segue I want to call I remember it was called the two pink segue ID and my sender is going to be this information to send a string all right and I oh I have made a terrible mistake self all right so now what's happening is I'm saying perform segue with this identifier and sender is this information all right now let's see how we're going to use this information now this information cannot be used in here simply because they have to somehow go to our next view controller which in this case is the pink one so let's go to, ahead to our pink view controller and I know this is going to seem a little bit confusing right now but I'm going to come back to it in a second so in my pink view controller, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna say there is a property in here, add property. So I'm defining a new property of the type NS string. And that property NS string is called received data. So there is a property called NS string received the data. And here is what happens. Every time our view loads, so in my pink view controller, view did load. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say every time the view loads, do this, say received label dot text is going to be received data. Uh, how did I received a string? Was that the name I gave it? Received data, yes. Received data. Received data, uh, received data, yes. So here is what's happening, all right? Once again, off the top, right? We are saying every time the pink view controller loads in the view did load, make that label text value, show this guy received the data. Who is this guy? Received data is actually a property in our pink view controller. It is in our dot H, which means it's also in our dot M. Now we have to somehow connect this received data to the value that we have in a sender from our uh, segue. So let's see how we're going to do that. I'm actually gonna quickly clean everything up, everyone I don't need. So in my dot H, I, I need everything. In my view controller dot M, I don't need the view did load. In my pink view controller dot H, I need everybody who is there. That's the label. That's the action for going back. And that's the property we just declared. And in the pink view controller dot M, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this go back home to something that we know for a while now. Dismiss view controller, uh, animated, true, and do nothing at completion. So that's as simple as that. So how are we going to connect this received data, sorry, this received data to the value that we have in the sender? For that, we need a separate method. And that method is a member of the UI kit. It's all, it always exists within all view controllers. And that is called void prepare for segue. So let's see what this one does. It says, if you are going to run a segue, let's do some preparation for it. All right, so what are those preparations? The preparations that we need, I'm gonna write them in comments is make sure the received received data from pink view controller has the same information as the sender which sender it doesn't matter because this sender and this sender are going to be identical because when we call the go pink uh, action this sender is going to send the right information into here these are just names of course so we are staying in the prepare for segue, which is a built-in function from view controllers 
we are saying when you're preparing for a segue, make sure the received data from pink one is the same as this sender. So as this guy, which in this case is called a sender. So how are we going to do that? The first thing is we need to get access to our pink view controller. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and say import pink view controller. So now we have access to our pink view controller within our view controller. So now I'm going to say, let's check the segue. So because remember, you might have multiple segways, you know, your main storyboard might have a segue that goes from the white one to the pink one. And then from the white one, you might go to a green one, so on and so forth. So I'm going to say, if segue dot identifier is equal to a string and the string I'm looking for is this guy. If this is the segue that we're going through in this particular example in the app I'm making, this is completely meaningless simply because I only have one segue in, in, in here. But in a real life example and for the sake of, you know, doing things the right way, you want to check for this. You want to say if segue is this segue, then let's get access to the view controller. Pink view controller. Let's call it this pink instance. You can call it anything is segue destination view controller. So we are saying make an make an instance of pink view controller call it this pink instance and make that to be or assign that to be the destination of segway what's the destination of segway obviously in this case is this guy this outlet in our uh, in our storyboard this outlet itself is connected to a class called pink view controller so i'm going to go back in here i'm going to say well if you did that then say this pink instance dot received the data that's that is going to be sender. Now, since we are not sure whether the sender is a NSS string or not, it's of the type ID, it helps if we cast it. And I'm going to say NSS string sender. Now let's run this app once and then I'm going to rewrite this bit of the code once again. So it kind of, you know, recaps everything. I feel like this might be a little bit confusing for the first time. So let's run the app now. And if it all works, we should be able to get to see uh, whatever we need on the other side. So in here, I'm going to go ahead and say, hello, Pinky and go to pink. And in here it says, hello, Pinky. If I go back and say, hello, uh, not blue and go to pink it says hello not blue now let's quickly see what we have done in our view controller this one the one we are going from we are getting access to our pink view controller so that's one part we are getting that one and then we are saying that when you are preparing to move to the segue first check if this is the right segue or not for now, because I'm trying to simplify things, I'm going to say, let's drop that whole thing simply because I know this is the right segue. There is only one of them in here anyway. So I'm going to say when you're preparing for the segue, make it that the segue destination will be assigned to something of the type pink view controller, because that's what we know we need. So we need the pink view controller. And then I'm going to say from this instance of it, let's get receive data and assign a value to it. Forget this whole sender for a second. Let's say we just assign a value, my name to it. It means every time that we go through the segue, call it Amir. Let's see. So whether I have something in there or not, when I go, it says Amir, you know, whether I have some random characters in there it's still gonna say the same thing but what we wanted to do is we wanted to get that information and in the last example what i did is i got it in here when i was pressing the button and i was passing it into the sender for the preparation let's simplify that a little bit as well even though it's not the best practice and you will soon see why but let's simplify it a little bit i'm gonna say when you want to go to the pink don't do any of these things and the sender is nil as it has always been. When you are preparing, find your pink instance and pink instance receive data. 
make it whatever text field we have dot text. So in the preparation, set that data correctly. And then in my pink one, I've said, whenever this view loads, get the label in its text, show whatever data we have received. Let's run that again. So now I'm gonna say here, we see here. I'm gonna say uh, home, we see home. So the data is getting passed uh, correctly between the two view controllers. So that's about that. Uh, there isn't a lot of code in here and most of it is kind of, you know, trivial. We have a text field, we have an action. In our .m, we have a perform segue that we have seen. And then, you know, in our pink view controller, we have a property, we have a label, and we have a go back home. The only thing that's really new in here is this little part, preparing for a segue. And when you prepare for a segue, you get the destination view controller that you have, you assign it to an instance of the same type. And on that instance, you essentially call whatever you have to call, in this case being a received data. In one of the assignments that you guys have to do, this received data is actually not an NSS string, it's actually an array. So you have to feed an array into it in your prepare for segue. So let's keep it up to here. Uh, like I said before, these four lessons, uh, this one was the fourth one of them, they're quite important and you will have to deal with this on and on and on throughout whatever development you do. So if you know, if you had any questions, let me know. If you had any doubts, let me let me try to clear them for you. And I'll see you in the next lesson then.